Hey, this is Sam from Old Barn Tannery in Iowa. Hey, we got a whitetail here, Cape. It's OBT 786. Uh, this thing is approximately 7 and 8th Ida nose by 22. Uh, 22 I pulled out. This, you gotta remember, this, you guys, these are just out of the freezer. You can see the stretch I get out of them. So, and I'm, what I'm doing now, just so everybody knows, I'm coming back about four inches behind, six, four to six, and try to get it over the Atlas. And you see that comes to 22. Now that, that comes 22 easy. I'm just pushing it right out. You can see what I'm doing here. I come right out there. And I actually, if I wanted to, I can bring that out quite a, even quite a bit more, but I'm not going to get goofy with it here. So, As you can see there, I'm getting it almost to, to 23, 24-ish. So, so let's say I'm going to call it a 22. I would put it on like a 20 by 22, but... Anyhow, I'm going to start measuring everything over the axis so uh, everybody kind of gets on the same page here how we measure. Uh, I grade all these capes. I'm going to grade this one as just a straight commercial cape. Um, it's, it's a nice commercial cape, but it does have a pretty big flaw. They shot it with a big old broadhead, obviously. So there's, you get the big broadhead cut there, and I'd be on the right side uh, back almost to, uh, to the brisket, right before the brisket area, up kind of high on the neck. Um, I seen there was a must have been a uh, skinning cut on the back of that eye, which is going to go ahead and come together fine. But it is there. Um, the eyes are good shape. Tear duck on that side, good shape. Eyes and tear duck on that side, good shape. Nose is pretty nice. Lips all there, good. Ears seem to be in great shape. Not blowed out or anything. Might have to turn them a little bit more to the edge. But that's that side. Let's see if there's anything on this side we gotta look at. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, just to show you this face on this guy, it's really pretty unique, pretty dear. I mean, it's got a dark, dark, deep chocolate forehead and dark, darker face. Uh, makes somebody a great deer. But we're, I'm just gonna call it a commercial deer because of the. The broadhead hole and, and a little bit of nick we had in that one side. So, but if you're looking for something in that 22 inch range, I think this would definitely fit the bill. Uh, give Colt a call. We'd love to work with you. Want to have a great day.